Hi, my name is Lucas, and today on Channel 6, we are going to interview a very important person in the world of blind people, someone who has helped them write and read, Maria Carmen Ortiz de Arce. <laughs> Hi, Maria, how are you? Fine, thanks. It is a pleasure to have you here, but first of all, tell me something about your past. Well, I don't remember when I was born, but I am going to die in the 1932. I studied in Casa de Caridad in Barcelona, where I found the school for blind children. There, people called me Sol Pubair. I also made a device called Regleta Sor, so that the blind people could write and read the Braille and Jordan system. I worked on it for 10 years, from 1910 to 1920, and finally, we did it. It was patented on the 5th of July, 1909. It consists on a ruler and an owl that allows writing in braille and drawing visual characters on the ruler. In order to read it, you have to use the touch and feel the words. Did you have any problems in the process? Of course. Like the majority of the women of my time, I found difficulties to register my invention. The strength of tradition, moral control and the lack of legal protection have been my main obstacles. Also, it was difficult to explain to the world how to use it. People didn't understand. Others didn't want it because it was a woman's invention. But finally you got it! Congratulations! Well, yes, but that's not equality. What was the origin of that idea? At my school, many of my partners were blind, so they needed special help to teach them. It was sad because they weren't help, so I thought of inventing an object to teach them easier and help them to improve in their life. Did you have any friends who had this problem? Well, my best friend was blind. So she st was bullied because of it. It was sad about her because one day she stopped going to school. She didn't talk to anybody and one day she disappeared. All we want to think that she just disappeared, but the truth is that she committed suicide on the coast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thanks. Okay, okay, next question. What was the purpose of your invasion? My objective was to help people to communicate with blind people in the distance as if you were writing letters without the help of other people, also to improve people's life. They didn't choose to be blind, it's not their fault. Of course, Maria. Would you change something about your invention? Well, I'm very proud of what I did, but I know in the future there will be more resources that I can use to make my invention better and more comfortable for people to use. So thank you very much, Mrs. Ortiz. To you, Lucas. I hope to see you one day. I don't hope so. We are on December 1931.